Well, let's talk about it. You know, before we go through and pick apart a couple of individual things I would like to talk about in this episode. Overall, how would you rate the episode? And in and in all six episodes we've seen this season, where would you rank it? This one? I'm trying to say, I'm trying to hold my higher rates. I want to give it a seven, a eight. I want to give it an eight. Okay. So you give it an eight. And where would you rank it amongst all the episodes we've that seen? That we've seen so season? far? Mm. Yeah. I want to put last week's episode in front of this one. Then yeah, and, yeah. and then that one will go behind that. And it's just every episode's been great so far. I mean, yeah. you know, I have yeah. these little moments where you know it was little quirks, but other than that, I'm I'm enjoying it. Have you heard a lot of people old heads, Moochie, like people thirty five plus? Saying they're not liking this this season. Have you experienced that, or you? What are you seeing from your community? Um, for my community, I'm seeing people. Everybody's liking it, but they just certain things they want to see happen. Okay. And and everybody, everybody's saying it's time for a major character to go to go right now. Oh, <laughs> so that's that's what we're getting now. We want they want to see a major. They saying like people has has been going strong too long, and now they want to see, you know, they want to see some, you know, so I wouldn't say gore, but they want to see somebody either die or go to jail for real, because they well, the thing... they they getting away too fast. But you know, I'm watching it and I'm seeing it for them, and I think we they they are going to give that to us. You, you know what my predictions are for what's going to happen the rest of the season, right? I don't, so I haven't really put out a lot of power videos this week, but I'll give you my quick predictions. Number one, Tariq is not taking the fall. I think Monet going to take the fall for the Rico and be the one to go to jail. And I do predict Cooper Sacks is going to die. The OG, the OG like Tariq, Cooper Sacks is going to die. And it's going to all be because of a decision made between him Lauren and Blanca Rodriguez. That's my overall prediction for the season. I could see that. Mm-hmm. I could see that happening. I do feel like I feel like Kane and Monet might end up getting jammed up. And don't be surprised if Diana be part of it. Because I, what we I saw today, surprised. what we saw this, this last episode. We did see her go up in that locker. They don't know what she got, but she she might end up if she gets jammed up too with Effie, mm-hmm. she's gonna throw her mother to the wolves, especially if she finds out that she ha- he has some- she has something to do with her father. And I and, did- and we was we was just talking about it. I feel like I feel like she going she going to do her mother she going to do her mother dirty because of what she did to Poppy. You know she's a daddy's girl. Oh lord. <laughs> my Poppy, my Poppy, oh, my Poppy, you here, took out my here, Poppy. Here, here we go. <laughs> here we go. Every you every daughter Every daughter who's around their father is not necessarily a daughter's girl, but I give you this. Diana is and do you don't think that they would somehow, some way play it where Diana pulls a Tariq and kills Monet like three, four seasons down the road, holding in this animosity? Uh, say it again? Do you think what? Remember, Tariq killed his daddy and a lot of that Yeah, I can see that happening. You don't think that Diana would kill Monet after three or four seasons, when they let this whole thing unravel and it comes back, maybe from Drew, because Drew finds out that the guy he's sticking his penis in the butt into tells the truth or something, and he gets off that Diana would take out Monet at some point in time. Kane already figured it out. Yeah, Kane no. So now but is he is he gonna tell it though? That's the thing. Is he gonna tell it? Because you saw the way this episode ended. If he loses Monet, any more power, yes, he will. Well, he done lost it. Monet done basically put Drew at the top and embarrassed, completely embarrassed Kane at the end of this episode. And Kane walked off with the daddy Jesus piece. So do you think that he would 
use that to lure Diana and Effie? Because remember, Effie stepped, Effie stepped to Diana to get her to work with her, mm-hmm. and Cain stepped to Effie to say, "Look, I'm gonna hook you up. Don't worry about that little punk ass nigga that can't grow a mustache named Tariq. Talk to me about that, Moochie. How we gonna play that situation? Cain about to get him a new crew." Kane's gonna get him a new crew, but he she now once Monet says she's in charge, it's gonna be that power struggle going on again. Mm. She and, and and if he finds out she had anything to do with it, in order for him to become the head person in charge, I could see him doing something with him, his mother too. He's tired of being a soldier. He feels like he's smart enough to do all of this. That's true. That's true. He feel like uh, Drew is too weak, and a, a lot of a lot of a lot of other people think that. Mm-hmm. But um, you know, I'm like, well, what can possibly happen? And what's up, one shot gaming? I, I I like I feel like she's she's gonna it's a, gonna be a power struggle within the Tejada household. She wants Drew to be in charge because she can control Drew a little bit more. Hmm. That's right. But Kane yeah. was already in charge, and you don't want them two going at it. Look, they almost went at it at the um at the funeral when they was coming out on who does who's going if they're going to decide to do anything. I'm when ready the for Russians it. Was coming. I'm ready for. I want to see that fight. I want to see the <laughs> conversation that happens when they get back to the house. This is this will be their second fight that Kane and Drew had. I want to see that fight. No, Mooch. I want them to go straight WWE, and I wonder. If Kane uh, get a little leery, if Drew put that penis too close to his leg when they fighting and shit, oh, you know, uh, like, uh, it's his brother. Like, uh, 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 <laughs> hey, you know where Drew penis been at, Moochie? Don't even act like that. Drew penis done been in some places. I'm sure Kane don't want it to be near him. So you know they start getting into a naked fight, Moochie. Oh Lord, I, I don't want to see that. I, I give I it to Drew. I'm gonna get the fight to Drew. Shout out to one of your followers, Moochie, who sent in a super chat, $4.99. Oh, thank 60 you. plus reviews says on the Sherry show, Michael Rainey Jr. said the fourth season is his last season. I can believe that, Moochie, because Michael Rainey, he is there was a rumor. He's tired of doing it, yeah. Y- yes. There was a rumor. He doesn't want to get typecast. That too, but there was a rumor he was a little upset that he's the, you know, him and Cooper Sacks is the OGs. And Mary K, Mary J came in as making all this money. She's making like 500 stacks an episode. He's not getting paid nearly that much. But he also has said that he don't want to be typecast and that he's more than a TV star actor. You know, he said he's more than that. And so I think it's a smart move for him to get out of here at season four. I really do. How about you? they get them out how are they gonna do it i think you gotta kill him oh no 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 what if he just goes off in, into the business world and be legit where he like i'm not part of that world no more why can't they do it like that well he's, he's got to you, you know moochie i would agree with you on that but he had, I mean, he just had, his rap sheet is too long for him to go run off in the sunset. Now, maybe he killed two people, you know, did drugs for like a month. His rap sheet is too intense for him to just walk off in the sunset and have a good, a good happy ending. They're no, not it's gonna either going like to be that. prison or death. That's what you're saying. No, I, I don't think it's going to be prison at all. I don't, I definitely don't think it's going to be prison. I think it's probably, it's. It's either going to be death or they're going to write him off somehow or another in trouble. Kind of like what they did with Franklin. I hope they I don't, don't do that. I don't think they're going to put him in prison. I don't think they're going to put him in prison one bit. Shout out to all the 145 people joining us on an impromptu live stream. I am Lamont Tyson. That is the homegirl Moochie, the hammer coming through. Be sure to follow me on the podcast, the Life Games podcast. Be sure to follow me on the TikTok. And my TikTok has grown, ladies and gentlemen. I'm not just 86 people no more. And then follow me on Twitter, IG. There is a Life Games page. You can follow us everywhere we go to keep up with all these shows and things we're doing. 
Moose, let's watch the trailer for this thing and then we'll start from the beginning. All right. Let me find it real quick. Because I know we like visuals. We are visual arts type of people. So I got to give us something to look at. Here we go. Cars now, so shit about to look different. Family first. The Russians took out Lorenzo, and I got a plan to get him back. Are you in? Don't do anything reckless, you hear me? No. I want my life back. What if your testimony is the only thing that will make him pay for his crimes? I don't even know if I can trust anybody. In this game, Tariki and Moochie, you know it's hard to trust somebody. And having said that, let's start from the top, Moochie, because I was, you know, this scene right here made me upset, Moochie. You know, mm. you know, you know, I did not like seeing her Tigo biddies up in the air with Salakum Salam, Celine, whatever his name is. And I, it bothered me a little bit. I'm not even gonna lie. Moochie, as a matter of fact, she is no longer in consideration for my TV wife. Oh, She's out. boy. She's out. She's out. Nope. But in this moment, Moochie, Monet was calling all the kids, letting them know what happened to daddy. Mm -hmm. And when you saw this, what was going through your mind? I wanted to look at everybody's reaction to it. Mm -hmm. That's what I paid more, more. I paid close attention to everybody's reaction. And you know, Diana and Drew took it the hardest. Kane is actually thinking. Yep. He's yeah. using his brain. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, I feel like she's going to do some digging, too. Y'all know how Diana is, y'all. Dirty Diana. Wait, wait, wait a minute. What? <laughs> You're not saying you think Diana is going to uncover this caper, do you? Don't and be surprised. Out, it wouldn't surprise me if not only she found out that Monet staged this killing, but it, I wouldn't be surprised if she finds out that Kane knew that daddy had was responsible for killing um Zeke. I wouldn't be surprised if Kane say it's all her fault because she went in that bag like Drew told her not to. How about that? Mm. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Well, <laughs> they say a man's actions is his own actions, regardless of someone else's interactions. So at the end of the day, it was still his damn fault. Can't put it on her, okay. He can't put it on her. Still her fault. Either way you look at it. Yeah. And after we get through that and we saw everybody's reactions, we see somebody who looked like they stuck their face in some stinking pussy. And I'm talking uh -uh. about that too. Look, look, look how close his nose is to his lip. It looked like that stuff smelled like Bojangles potato rounds. And he ain't want no more, no more rounds of it. And Elfie is looking at him like, your penis smell like cigarette smoke. But uh -uh. Moochie, at the end of the day, Moochie, there's smoke going on between these two. What was you thinking was going to happen when they had this kind of ice cold moment to start this episode? Uh, she knows things change when when he once he came back in at at, at night, mm -hmm. and she's trying to she's racking her brain right now, like why is he acting so cold towards me? Mm. She's trying mm -hmm. to figure it out. Mm, 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 mm. This episode did give us a little more of why she's so messed up in the head. And we'll get there in a minute. I thought that was interesting. It kind of lets you know that it was real life to me because a lot of the pain that happens to adults and things that bother them or create insecurities, Moochie, tend to be things that happen when you was a child and you never figured out a way to overcome it or work it out. And so we'll get there in a minute, but I think she knew hey, Moochie, judging these looks, after you just got finished giving him your little effy panty draws. Mm -hmm. I mean, you really just got finished giving him the draw. There should be no reason that this guy should come back to bed and be looking like this. That should let her know, you know what? He must find out the ultimate. I better go and come clean. I was thinking. Your ass should have came clean, Effie. But she didn't. And we'll get there. Well, we'll no. get there. Mm. I, you know what I also thought about this part, too? What's that? She's thinking he has something to do with Lorenzo Tejada's thing. She's thinking about when he went out that night. Not in this particular picture. But mm -hmm. shortly after that, she finds out they find out about Lorenzo Tejada's demise. 
right so right right she mm-hmm. she's 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 like you didn't have any did you have anything to do with this now is she gonna go back and tell Kane that yes she's gonna use it to her advantage yes and and, and Moochie are we still believing Kane gonna get her panty draws I think she's gonna do it out of um to benefit her no she will do it to benefit her he, I agree. He'll think he'll think he's getting her and mm-hmm. the panties, but she's just you know let me do this so I can get the bag, get what I gotta get. I Mucha, I hundred percent agree, but I think two things can be true. Because at the end of this episode, when she saw <laughs> she saw Diana and Tariq room, <laughs> that messed her up in the head. So I do think that she will use her panty draws for plausible deniability and plausible acceptance of Kane and give him the draws as revenge and to get him on the hook to do her bidding. Just like you said, I think that both of those things could be true with her and Kane, but they are going to definitely be getting draws given up. That's going to happen. And yes, ladies and gentlemen, giving up panty draws can happen on a Sunday. I just want y'all to know it. I know the Lord took the seventh day to rest, but do you think Negroes is really taking them days off from sex? You know what? A- absolutely not. <laughs> Absolutely not. I can't with you. Can't. Yes, you can. That's why you keep showing up. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you can. Next, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, you can. That's why you keep showing up. <laughs> <laughs> we, get, we get Jenny, a good friend to the show. Her, her name is Peyton Ashbrook, and I will be trying to get her back up here. We love Jenny. She's a great actress. She finds Lauren trying to leave her own damn home. And Moochie, did you catch that intricate plot? Jenny done got rid of Lauren's family. Lauren laid up in bed waiting for the family. And by the way, y'all, Lauren is looking real good this season, too. I just had to throw that out there, okay? Uh, I seen her on IG lifting and doing deadlifts and shit, and it's working for her. But she wants out of this game, and the only one Moochie she's willing to talk to is who, and the floor is yours. She wants to talk to sex. I feel like it's a good move. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't like Jenny's movement. I feel like she's gonna end up. It's crazy with her. She's she's <laughs> she she's she's breaking a lot of. She's breaking. She's gonna be having a little hearing with the ethics community committee <laughs> you got about that her right. law license. <laughs> right. That's pretty she... coming pretty soon down the road. Mm-hmm. Look, she in trouble, Moochie. And no, you made this the, girl parents disappear. She come home. They not here now. They not home. Moochie, how Lauren get in the house? Was the door unlocked? How she, Lauren get she, in? She had her keys. They showed up with her keys going in. Damn. Where'd she get the keys from? Well, when they took her, she had her stuff with her still. They Remember when she fell in, when she was in the car, she took all her belongings. So, you know, I'm just giving an educated guess or who knows? They might've had a hide a key under the mat. But Jenny <laughs> had a set too, Moochie. Jenny had a set. Is that the set Jenny took from the parents? Wow. <laughs> you saw that. See, th- Jenny- I hope they, I, see, this is when I don't like when I figure stuff out like this and then I'll be, then I'll be like, they messed up. I'm kind of thinking like, you don't got to say it, Moochie, so you can make your video, but we go in the same place. So that's why I'm asking you all these questions. But ladies and gentlemen, stay tuned. We'll drop some videos talking about what we think and the parents, because um, I think it's more to this situation with the parents than meets the eye. And I do think Jenny and Lauren, the fact that Lauren is trusting Cooper Sacks, I think is going to get her killed because I do. I, let me say that. Now I'm going to put this out there, then I get that. I do in my heart think Cooper Sacks is trying to turn over a new lead. I do. I do. And we'll keep it at that. Shout out to this live audience, Moochie. We've got, let me give, let me give you some of the people who's in. Let me give you some stats. We got Mr. Kev. We've got from your channel, Kyra in the building. Mr. Ooh. Bear Fax. Adina, relax and chill. What's up, my brother? James Kelly from the Moochie channel. Good. What a damn name. Good. Is in the building. Rainy J is in the building. Inga from Moochie and my channel is in the building. 
Velvet Tika, Velvet Tease 100. Damn, love that name is in the building. Damn. Moochie <laughs> got a blazing saddles in the building. Make sure my ass don't never sit on that hot shit. Blazing Ooh, saddles. Blazing in the saddles. Building. Nah, that's, that means she she got it going on. She's the blazing saddles. She got it going on when she ride. I, I don't <laughs> want none of it. I don't want none of it, Moochie. I don't want no good stuff controlling my brain. So nope, I stay away. And then we got Mr. Bear Facts in the building. Tamika Den in the building. What's up, Mika? Crystal's in the building. And One Shot Gaming is in the building. Here we go, man. Here we go. Oh, boy. <laughs> I can't do nothing but laugh at this. What you got? <laughs> Look, she be keeping it funky with her son. You know that two plus two equal five. She, she ain't say, she, yo, and your ass don't know ish. Because you think two plus, you two plus two equal five. Mucha, she underestimating him a little bit. Yeah, you know she that, is. like, like she he's is. not, he's not the brightest, he's not the brightest star in the sky, but he damn sure ain't the dullest star either. This last season, he really smartened up big time, and he basically, like you said, Moochie, he figured out what happened. He figured out, and she tried to talk it away and try to give him a responsibility to keep him occupied, and that was Lorenzo's life insurance policy. Now, Moochie, you do know this, right? Whatever money Lorenzo's giving them in life insurance, if it's ever find out Monet has something to do with that killing, that's another criminal charge. As a matter of fact, white people was doing that so much in white America that that became like a class one felony. Yeah, and that's the first, that that's what started people looking at the, 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 the spouse first. Right, exactly. You're absolutely exactly. right. Exactly. So, having said that, Moochie, and we know she's pissed her son off, what is he going to do being that he's going to be in control of this money that he's about to put into the Brayton Trust Fund? Mm. Mm -hmm. This could bring up a, ring a lot of alarms. Right, thank Especially you. if thank they you. do it that thank fast. You. Thank you. Mm -hmm. and, and she's moving too fast where this this is gonna bring attention to both of them. And now you he might they might even drag Braden into it with the criminal enterprise. Yep. So yep. It, it, it it's a it's it's not looking too good for um Monet. No, mm -mm, no Moochie. Monet's going to jail. Yeah, I'm sorry. I said, I said that from last season, y'all. You know mm, this. Yeah, yeah. Monet's going to jail, y'all. And and I'm here for it. And y'all might say I'm cynical. Y'all might say I'm dastardly. I need Monet to get an ass whipping in jail. I need one person to whip that ass while she's in jail. And it could be Frank Crew if she make it to jail and they don't get those issues resolved. I think Monet is going to get a ass, a wake up ass whipping in jail. Post your comments. Let me and Moochie know what you think, Moochie. I'm going to give you some, th something where, look, don't be surprised. It'd be some um, Russians in there ready to get at her. Hey. And, and hey. she already says she don't want that problem. Right. And Moochie, have you seen them <laughs> big ass Russian, them big ass Russian Helga grandmas that be trying to give folks massages in America? Exactly. That's them my point. Looking, they be in there looking like Ray fucking Lewis, a linebacker. It's going to be one, one so Svetlana in there. Yes. A, a, a Svetlana, <laughs> uh -huh. a Helga, <laughs> a, a, a Alexander that's going to mm -hmm. be in there and going to whip that behind and, and not some sense into her. I can't wait to see. How they gonna write the story? She's with her going in to jail. jail. She's gonna be fighting for her free, mm -hmm. freedom. Will Davis McClain help her? Good point. Good point. 